Hello everybody. This is the first part of our Learning to Code with Kotlin course. I'm really happy to have you here. Today we will install our developer environment and create our first Kotlin program. The program itself will not do too much, it will just print Hello World to the console. Writing such Hello World applications has a long tradition in programming. Normally this is the really first thing you're gonna do with a new programming language or framework. Since I'm a big fan of it, we will use the IntelliJ IDE Community Edition as IDE for this and the following tutorials. So let's begin. We will start our installation process at chatprints.com to download the binaries. There we first gonna click on find your IDE and navigate our way through the different products towards IDEA and there we're gonna select the community version. Just press the download button. And since my internet connection here is not the fastest, I will just skip this and continue in a moment. The next few steps might be a bit exhausting, but at least you only have to do it once. Now open the installer you downloaded, and then you can install the application. On macOS, this is pretty easy. There it's just a drag and drop of the application into the applications folder. On other platforms it might require a few more steps, but you should be fine after pressing the next button for a few times. After the copying to the application folder finish, we are able to run the community edition of IntelliJ IDEA. And probably will be prompted with a few permission things, which happen because we just downloaded it. But that's quite usual for Mac applications. Store this, open it, okay. Now it might be that when you already have installed other versions that you can import settings from there, but actually I decided to not import any settings since I want to be as close to your experience as possible. So let's accept the privacy policy, select the team. Uh, here we could install a launcher script, but I don't do this for now. Just skip remaining and set defaults. Now it should be created by the Welcome to IntelliJ IDEA dialog. This is where you could create new projects and import projects. Let's create a new one. Here it's important that we select Kotlin JVM in the Java group. You can explore other settings also. But let's for now just select Kotlin JVM, press next, and there we can specify our project name. Let's give it a meaningful name like Hello World. And press next. Now that we created our project, we can create a new Kotlin file. We can do this by exploring the project window. Here, press left click on Hello World, go to the source folder, right click, and then select New Kotlin File Class. Give it a meaningful name like Hello World. Inside the Hello World file, we can now use IntelliJ's Create Auto Completion. Press M and Enter to create a main function. Inside that function, just type PR to select println, which is print line, and just enter the following to make it print hello world. After we have done this, we can start the application by right clicking the file and selecting run hello world kit. Now it will take a while to compile the file and after the build finishes, you will see the console output. As expected, we see a printed Hello World. Congratulations! You finished the first part of our series, you installed an IDE and you created your first Kotlin program which just printed something to the terminal. Good job! The next part of our series will just continue here and introduce new concepts like variables and data types. I would love to see you also in the next session. Bye bye.